And uh, Saul, have you got the website for us? Yeah, I understand it's ustream.tv slash Aquarius Reef Base. So again, ustream.tv slash Aquarius Reef Base should have live, well, audio and video, but uh, obviously the audio is coming through your guys' channel as well. Awesome, man. Uh, this is pretty cool. I, I mean, and, and to me, this is the dry run. We're going to do this with the space station someday, just because I want to. <laughs> well, but, and this you'll... is a wet run, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, a good yeah. point. I can That's hear Patty like... Gross uh, laughing in the background. Patty so. Gross is here. <laughs> Roger Garcia is here as well. All right, man. Right. You got the crew down there. We do, we do. We're having a party. Where are you? Um, well, about uh, seven, eight miles uh, west, I think, and uh, about 45 feet higher in the air. So, <laughs> That's uh, right. That's right. Now, uh, now what, what is, uh, describe the mission for me a little bit so far, Debbie Ellis. Uh, you got on the boat uh, how long ago and how long did it take to get down there and give us the details. Well, I think we got on the boat around 4 o'clock and the ride out here to the life support buoy, which is out here on, uh, on Country. That's right. And stopped at a NASA ship along the way, but Mark, you don't want to know about that because I know how they were going out the direction. Yeah, NASA, you know. But there yeah, were a support boat out here with a okay. steam on it, right? That's, that's right, that's the, right. The yeah. NASA ship out. And, um, and we got in the water about 5 uh, 10 or so, I think. Yeah, about or, 5 o'clock or so. Yeah, yeah. 5 o'clock, and did a little safety There's check. Clock checked our gear and everything, and it was a short swim down to the Aquarius habitat, two minutes, and probably. Uh, we got no, you Debbie, you were telling me that uh, before you guys uh, got in the water that it's only about a three or four minute swim, is that right? To come down to the habitat, probably, not we, even yeah, that. not even that. Uh, we did one swim around the habitat, so we were in the water a little bit longer than that, but yeah, they actually get here. Only because we begged them to swim around the habitat. <laughs> you get down there. Now, I've got Otto up here. And Saul, does this happen a lot to you guys? Do you uh, bring a couple of good-looking gals down to the aquariums? And sure, this well, is the way it works out. Well, I'm sure I should say that the science team has both male and female members, and I'm sure they're all beautiful and gorgeous right now. So there, there are uh, six of us living down here, and now we have two visitors. So it's a... It's a great place to be, and yeah, we do get a lot of visitors in, and people really, really enjoy it, both the outside views and just kind of living in here and looking out, watching the fish swim by is a, a unique experience. Very cool stuff. Now, I want all you guys to sit tight right where you are. We are going to take a break. We're at 15 after the hour. We're going to come back. We're going to talk more to uh, Debbie Ellis, Saul Rosser, Patty Gross, the entire crew, uh, along with Otto Rutten. Uh, at, uh, did I say that right, Otto? Okay, got good. that right. Uh, we'll uh, talk more uh, from the Aquarius. Uh, is it underwater? Laboratory. Laboratory. There you go. When we come back, to stay with us. Shell Time Score 102 on the ocean side. Uh, Mark Mills here, Otto Rutten there across the uh, table from me. And uh, about uh, 45, 50 feet below the surface at the Aquarius uh, Underwater Laboratory, uh, we have uh, Saul Rosser, Debbie Ellis, uh, Petty Gross is down there. Brian, uh, Bruce. I can't believe Bruce is down there with you guys. Is that even legal for him to be underwater? <laughs> so, so yeah, we've got, I guess the fourth person with us this evening, he's kind of running around making the habitat run, is, is our lead habitat technician, Roger Garcia. Uh, so he's off in the wet porch uh, where the aquanauts come in out of the water, um, making sure everything's in proper order out there. So but I think the, the main visitors for the night is we've got a couple of very large tarpons swimming by the habitat giving us a, a spectacular view as they circle past. Well, more than a couple, frankly. Yeah, and how big are we talking here, Saul? Uh, oh. six, 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 six. Yeah. Several hundred pounds. Several yeah. hundred pounds. Yeah. But although I should point out that we are in a um, special protected area and uh, outside traffic is not allowed in this area, it's research only, but it's still gorgeous. It's Mark, gorgeous. the fish down here are on steroids. I have seen <laughs> the biggest grouper, the biggest tarpon, uh, huge and barracuda, fish. the largest French angel I've ever seen in my life. It's just yeah, you guys, by, by putting this on the radio, you guys realize that you'll have Skip Ray Dean anchored above the Aquarius tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but then again, so will the uh, the, the Marine Patrol. So, you know, they, yeah. Here for the Marine Patrol. 
Uh, but we, the, the habitat is actually a spectacular uh, artificial reef, so we get lots and lots of fish living around here, and it's just, it's amazing. So, yeah. So we're sitting here, Mark, at their dining room, dining room table, right, looking out the viewport and awing at the huge fish that we're seeing. We're on the inside of the aquarium, and it's just amazing to watch the fish that are swimming outside and schools. The biggest jack. Just right the biggest jack. I mean, I can't even explain how spectacular this is. And tell, tell Patty she's got a future in doing color commentary. <laughs> <laughs> that is the biggest jack I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, I did. You know, I was gonna, trying to find a nice way to put that. Thank you, Otto. You know, so now, uh, guys, tell me for a minute. Otto, I know you've been down there quite a bit. So, what's what's the average day for a researcher down there? You've got crew down there right now that are actively involved in some type of research project, correct? Yeah, that's right. So what we've got right now is a group from the University of North Carolina, Wilmington. Then they're out here studying sponges on the reef. And we get up, most uh, Roger and I get up, and the scientists get up about 6 o'clock. And about 7 or 7.15, the aquanauts leave the habitat and go out in the water for six hours. And being living here on the sea floor means they can be out for a very long time. So they spend six hours out doing their work. They check in every once in a while to fill their twin hundreds uh, cubic foot scuba tanks. Or we have little bells out on the reef, or we, what we call way stations, where they can take a break, check in, and fill as well. And so they're out there six hours, come back, do some work. Maybe there's a nap, it happens, and then they go out again in the evening. So right now the scientists are back out there doing their work again for the next couple of hours. It's a, it's a busy day, but incredibly productive for the scientists. And what are they looking for with their, with their study with the sponges? Can you... Uh you know, pull the curtain back on any of that for us? Yeah, so, and Otto can chime in here because he's more knowledgeable than I am, but the the, uh, the things I understand is they're looking at essentially uh, the bigger question of why the reef is changing, and, um, you know, the reef has gone from large quantities of corals to much less coral and much more sponge, and they're looking at a lot of different issues about why that's happened, and a lot of groups that come down here look at similar and related questions. Um, sure. Otto, do you want to add to that? Yeah, and, and they're looking uh, at a lot of the basic uh, demographics, so uh, mortality, reproduction, uh, recruitment, things like that, you know, with the new ones. So they have plots that are out on the reef, and, and they've been going to them for over 10 years now. Wow. And so they've been tracking what's going on with the larger barrel sponges, uh, the, the one that's that are most prominent out on the reef. Um, and they're a pretty good barometer of uh, life on the reef and how things are changing and, uh, and growing or getting smaller. Well, they certainly are. And, and, and uh, uh, Saul was just saying uh, what, what they're seeing is as the, as the coral reef, as the corals on the coral reefs uh, uh, continue to die back, these sponges are kind of taking over the space, uh, the available space and the available habitat. Very cool stuff, yep. man. I can't get over it, you know, that uh, we can talk to you guys and uh, you can give us the uh, the play-by-play -play on aquatic life uh, 45 feet down from the surface. Uh, and Patty, you want to tell me again how big that jack was? <laughs> Ginormous. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, the, the first impression you have when you walk in there, because I know you've been in there a couple of times now, is it changed uh -huh. each time? Yeah, you know, there's things that you don't remember about it, that you think, oh, wow, I don't remember this. You know, when you first come up, it, you know, my ears still aren't clear, and everybody's voice sounds funny. I don't know if it sounds funny <laughs> to you, but it does to me. So oh, that's just frustrating. Yeah, we're, we're we're down here and we're in two and a half, or two point four almost two and a half atmospheres of air, and so everything's a bit denser, and so we do sound a bit maybe more nasal, I guess you would say. Um, well, I, yeah, I was wondering if you had a couple of the extras from Wizard of Oz down there with you. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell, you can hear the difference. <laughs> yeah, they're representatives from the Lollipop Guild, uh, but you know we'll, we'll leave that alone for another time. You know what, Mark? They greet me. You know, they greet us. You come on up, and they've got a hot shower and a dry towel for you. So, you know, hey, this luxury like diving. Class, yeah, it's like a first class hotel. Yeah. Not bad. It is. Yeah. Last night, about midnight, I, I woke up and went on and got something to drink or whatnot, and then lay back in bed and watching 
out the viewport, the uh, fish dancing in the light outside the, the viewport was just spectacular. So it's not a bad way to kind of relax and chill out and enjoy the view. Well, about 82 minutes, unfortunately, for you guys. Um, otherwise, you can hear from the duration. So what's the longest period of time you've been down there? Well, this actually for me is, I've been with the course about a year, so now I'm on day seven of my second mission, and this is the longer of them, so this is my longest time. Otto, I think you've been down there for about ten days. Is that your longest, Otto? Yeah, ten days. Ten days. My Eighteen days is the longest mission that we've currently run out of time. What's it like sleeping down there? Uh, it's wonderful. Is it really? I have my best sleep in, in Aquarius. Really? Wow. It's, got, it's got a nice background humming noise, and, and uh, it's just... I, I think it's uh, just relaxing. So you really yeah. get into the zone, so to speak, when you're there. Well, that and you're very, very tired. Uh, yeah. Spending yeah. that much time in the water will, will wear you it's out. It's work, isn't it? Yes, it is. Wow. Guys, I can't thank you enough. Otto uh, and uh, Saul Rosser, uh, you know, this is outstanding that you guys, uh, you know, uh, open the door for us and let us into Aquarius. Uh, and we'd like to do it again real soon when you change the guard down there. Uh, give all of the people who are down there researching sponges and, and whatnot uh, our best and uh, tell them uh, thank you so much. Uh, Debbie, Betty, Bruce, guys, um, always uh, a pleasure to talk to you. But yeah, we're 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 tonight, so really cool. Uh, thank you, Mark. Thank you. Now, you guys are going to get to the stream on the YouTube for quite a while yet, right? I'm sorry. We're having some radio traffic in the background. Can you say that again, Mark? Now, your stream will still be up for a while, Yeah, right? so let me give just a quick overview of that. If you go to our website, which um, is uncw.edu slash Aquarius, um, or you can just type Aquarius Habitat into Google and it'll come up. We have live web streams going on during our entire mission. We also have a, a stream on Ustream where we show both live streams from the Habitat 24 hours a day, but also every day at about 2 o'clock or 2.30 we're having dives for a couple of hours where we can, you can interact with the diver. You can ask the diver questions uh, via chat. And um, then that will be going on again tomorrow. Our mission will wrap up on Thursday. And then we'll repeat the whole thing uh, starting, I believe, it's the 12th of July for another 10 days. So if you don't, cool. if you don't get it tomorrow, tune in in July. Well, Saul, uh, make sure to work it out with Debbie, and we'll be talking to you again in July, correct? Perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, bud. Much love. Thank you, guys. Thank you again okay, so much. Good night, Mark. All right. Safe rise up, okay? Follow oh, up. Oh, we will. Up. Absolutely. Thanks, See you all later. I, you know, <laughs> Otto, I think this is still the coolest thing uh, that uh, I've been able to do.